So I'm coming to you today from my happy place. This is where I come to unwind. So it's only appropriate that I would talk to you today about being stressed out. So many of us run around this world being just incredibly stressed. Do you know that stress can be defined as that feeling you have when you are handling more or different challenges than you're accustomed to? One of the biggest byproducts of stress is that feeling that your life is just out of control. To stop the spiral, give yourself permission to take a moment, much like I am here, have a cup of coffee, have a cup of tea, and just kind of reflect and think, what is it that's stressing me out? Stress has more harmful effects than you might think. It's not just, oh, I'm kind of stressed out today. It is more like stress has very damaging things that it can do to your body. Heart disease, high blood pressure, obesity, type 2 diabetes, anxiety, depression, gastrointestinal disorders, headaches, trouble concentrating, fatigue, and insomnia. Wow, that is a long list of ailments that we could prevent if we just weren't so stressed out. In fact, did you even know that stress can increase belly fat? Can I tell you how many patients come to me and say, I'm fine otherwise, but my belly is so big. And so one of the things I tell them is, first of all, exercise mobilizes belly fat, probably better than anything else. But managing your stress manages your cortisol levels. And often when, when cortisol is running rampant, it lands in belly and causes this incredible spare tire around your middle, which you don't want. Did you know that waist circumference is a really good way to measure what the risk that people are in for health disease? So for men, you want the waist circumference to be 40 inches or less. And for women, you want waist circumference to be 35 inches or less. If you can keep below those numbers, you will find your risk for dealing with disease really goes down. Managing stress is sort of like remembering your vowels. Do you remember back in elementary school when you learned A-E-I-O-U were vowels? Well, we're gonna use those today to talk about stress. So the A is avoid negativity. I often think being negative just becomes a habit. So what if you choose to be positive? Just try it. Maybe you can create a habit out of that and how wonderful that would be if all of a sudden you said, you know what, this is not the greatest thing, but let me try to find the good in what's going on in my life. I, in A-E-I-O-U, is identify what is stressing you out. As I said earlier, many times we just run around thinking, I'm so stressed, but I don't really know why. Identify what it is and make effort to change some of those stressors so that you can manage them better. Organize your priorities. Assess tasks both by importance and urgency. List what's most important and just do it. I have a colleague that calls it eating your frogs first. And what that means is the things you really don't want to do but need to do, you do those first thing in the morning. That way you don't have to worry about them at all for the rest of the day. And you feel so empowered and good by having taken charge of what you really need to get done. And then the last suggestion is you. And that's unschedule. Did you know that busyness is not synonymous to productivity? Choose to rest and rejuvenate. I firmly believe if you can adopt these five suggestions that you are going to find stress is much more manageable for you and something that you totally feel like you can deal with. Find yourself a happy place like I did and get out there and rest and rejuvenate.